Hey YouTube, it is, uh, let's see, July 5th, and another hot day. I'm off today, had to do a little work, but uh, I have to deal with one of the banes of North Carolina. It probably is in other states, but uh, it's really the first time I've had to encounter this issue, and it's briar uh, weeds. And let me get you one just to just to show you what these are. Uh, hopefully this can. They've got prickers on them. They're good for nothing. All they're good for is making it impassable to get down to my pond. So uh, I've got a. I found out a way to get rid of them. And uh, I'll show you some tools that I tried, but didn't work. Okay, the first tool I used was the trusty old steel 90, FS90R. And with this string trimmer, it, it really doesn't cut those larger uh, briar patches. So it, all this is good for is really grass. So, I went ahead and I got this attachment. It's a knife blade. Really nice. It, it does the job. It, it gets rid of them, but it doesn't prevent them from growing back. It just cuts them down to the, you know, to the lower stem. So, that's what I did at the beginning of the season. So, guess what is the best tool to get rid of these nasty pricker bushes? Well, they're to the left, and you can see them. They're right here. <laughs> yep, double up gloves, and just by hand, grabbing hold and ripping them right out of the ground, roots and all. That's the only thing I've seen that is really going to work. So, it's, it's just a, you know, it's a tedious job. It's hot and sweaty, but I'll show you. I'll show you what the uh, what it looks like before. Okay, as you can see, there's my little pistol range target, and I weed whacked a path to it. But uh, all along here, it was choked with those briars, and I've been able to yank them out all down here. But I stopped right about here and you can see I can't even get you know barely get past to go down to the pond this is our main path down to the pond but all these are the pricker bushes they go all the way down and you know they just grab on to your to your pants there's just it's just impassable right now so I'll do what I can today and uh, but if you know of a better way to get rid of these permanently, I don't know of it yet. I've researched it online, and the only thing I found was to rip them out. And I don't know what I don't know what they're good for, but I suppose they're not good for anything. So we'll see how we can how much we can get done without passing out.
All right, time to take a break. That looks a lot better. <sighs> oh, man. Okay, here's the after. And that's after hand pulling all of the briars and also <clears throat> running the Honda lawnmower and the steel trimmer. So yeah, look at all those briars. At least we can now proceed down to the pond and fish. At some point I want to put a path down here with maybe some railroad ties and gravel, but I don't know, that may not happen. Point is, important part is we're cleaned up sufficiently and now I can do some pistol practice. <clears throat> All right, um, one thing I wanted to just emphasize, the reason I've got, I got this 25 acres at my age is to keep me active and to really exercise my body. All my life I've been active and I've been, for, for example, I've been, oh my goodness, from my early teens to, you know, mid-twenties, even later, uh, I lifted weights a lot and when I went in the army at 21, I ran a lot, did a lot of, uh, you know, regular exercise. When I was 42, uh, I did a uh, half marathon and a marathon. Um, only did <laughs> one of each. About a, two years ago was the last time I ran long distance, about nine miles. So I'm really active. I enjoy physical uh, activity. And that's why I got this land, so that I could stay active and just, you know, knock myself out every time that I could. So I did that today, believe me. Um, I'm tired, but uh, I just, this is the best ever, really enjoying everything. So, all right, I think I will get out the pistols probably and do some practice, because that's always good to do also. So thanks for hanging in there for this video. And as I explored the ancient method of getting rid of briar bushes, signing off. <laughs>